Right, uh, well, welcome everybody. Hopefully you've uh, had to shiver a little bit to warm up. I'm conscious it's a chilly outside, it's going to be warmer in here, and we've got a great day of exciting content, great insights, and most importantly, superb networking. My name's James Mawson, I'm Editor-in-Chief and Founder of Global Corporate Venturing and its sister titles. We look at uh, global university venturing and global government venturing as well. And I wanted to uh, thank, first of all, our sponsors. I won't read them all, there's a, a long list, you can see more, but particularly wanted to know General Electric, Plug and Play, and PwC as our sort of platinum sponsors. Without that level of support and their, uh, their level of dedication to this industry, I think we wouldn't be able to put on this great event that we've been able to do. So I particularly wanted to thank them and all the other sponsors. Now, the event actually happens because pretty well much one person, Christine Rivaldi, if you can wait. She's a real superstar, the program director. She's been doing this event effectively for more than a decade now, I think it is. So, you know, uh, uh, as a sort of corporate venture in Innovation Summit, we're delighted that she's been able to sort of bring this event up to, uh, to Sonoma and you've been able to sort of bring together 450 people. So thank you once again, Christine. If anyone has any questions or any issues about the next few days, please look for Christine. Now, she has a huge amount of support from an event committee. We have two co-chairmen, Nagraj Kashak from Microsoft Ventures and Dominic McGray from Swisscom Ventures. You'll hear from Nagraj next. Um, and uh, he will give a few words of insights about the industry, and then you'll hear from Dominique tomorrow. But I also wanted to particularly note uh, Jay Yu from Translink, Heidi Mason, Bell Mason Group, John Riggs from PwC, Wendy Lung from IBM, Patty Burke from the Center for Creative Leadership, David Stevenson from Merck GHI, Tracy Isaac from Silicon Valley Bank, and Lee Sessions from Intel Capital. Last night, for those uh, who were invited, it was an invite-only event, we had a rising stars uh, sort of celebration of the people who within the industry are really showcasing the next generation talent. You'll see on the tables in front some copies of these 100 people. They support the power list, which are the top 100 leaders or heads of units in this industry, which is announced in June in our London Symposium. So uh, I, will, uh, I will give a few words about an initiative that we had great pleasure to be encouraged to set up, uh, which, is, uh, 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 which is a sort of the Global Corporate Venture and Leadership Society. That, uh, that initiative is very much uh, encouraged by Claudia Van Muntz, who's going to be chairperson of this committee. There's a number of people who will be joining that. This is a proposal that we're announcing today with more details to be revealed in June and up by the time of our London Symposium. And the idea behind that is effectively Global Corporate Venture and provides the data, information through its publications and training and events to allow the industry to understand and do better networking. And what we've been encouraged to think about is actually how does the industry represent what it does to the three core constituents? How does it act as a bridge to the corporate management, the entrepreneurs, and the other venture investors, the VCs, the hedge funds, whoever else might be in the rounds, so that we understand how the industry's importance can be better reflected for the good work that the entrepreneurs do, the senior corporate management do, as well as the other venture investors so that we deliver both the strategic and or financial returns that are potentially available. So I won't say too much about why it's drawn. We're very keen to announce this is being developed. Claudia, as I say, from IBM, head of IBM, is chair. We have a number of sort of luminaries who've agreed to join, including Sue Siegel from GE, Nagraj from Microsoft, Dominique, from Swisscom, Bill Tranto from Merck, Ritka Suri from Infosys, and others. And what we will try to do is better try and develop, as part of a non-profit, a way to communicate that message. Within the industry, 
we can understand what we do and better do that to deliver the best practices, but actually by, to by together collectively understanding and delivering that message better to the outside world, I think we can make the world a better place. And that's a goal I think we can all want to strive for. So um, I also wanted to uh, provide a, a little bit of a perspective uh, about, um, about what, we're, uh, what we're doing. Um, if we can have the next slide, thank you. Uh, what we're doing for the world of corporate venturing. This, uh, again, you should all have in your pack. You'll have a little flyer which tells you a little bit about the Leadership Society as we initially conceive in it. We're very keen to get feedback at this stage about how it can work and support. There are some other things within this flyer about what Global Corporate Venture do. But the thing that actually probably you might find most useful within the whole pack that you would have received is this world of Corporate Venture in which Toby Lewis, uh, if Toby's here, please stand up. Toby Lewis has been editor of Global Corporate Venture in the magazine uh, for the past two years. And he's creating, in effect, a new role within the company as chief analytics officer to develop a platform to allow people to understand and interact with the database. But that data, in effect, is all contained much of it in this annual review. There's a, a survey of about 100 corporate venture leaders from the top 100 groups. They provide a feedback of what they've been doing over the past year, as well as what they're planning to do over the next 12 months. There's a host of material in this. I particularly want to thank Sidley Austin uh, for sponsoring this. We'll hear in a few seconds from Mark Ochtalk, from, uh, who's a partner there at that law firm, uh, about some of the insights he's particularly got from the report. But I just wanted to share just one little bit from this report. So I think you're here at 3.05 today. Toby, along with our partners, Cubix Analysis, Jeff, Tim, stand up, give away. We couldn't have been able to develop the GCB analytics platform without their support at Cubix, so thank you very much. Really appreciate it, guys. And you'll hear a special se session understanding the data and how it can use and how hopefully it can help you in the work that you do. There's a huge wealth in this 104-page report. Toby's really excelled himself there the past few months in delivering such great content. But I just wanted to show one thing, if we can go to the next slide, the bubble. Yeah, uh, and then if we roll this, this shows just a little bit of data over the past few years about the core prevention units, where they've been, where they've grown, and how they're developing. And what you see here is obviously the US is the sort of up and to the right, everyone wants to be up and to the right in terms of understanding the growth of the corporate venturing industry, the types of deals being done, and where they're being done. And what you find with that sort of chart in particular, if you're noticing, as it runs through, there's a little point there, which is, uh, I won't try and show it, but the little red dot is China. And what you find is that the other countries, the other regions are starting to move up and to the right as well. And what you particularly notice is that China really starts to grow quickly. And I think if you look in the US, maybe about 100 billion of deals past year, China was about 37 billion of deals in venture in total. But the corporate venturing industry has actually been driving a lot of that. If you look at the very large rounds which has been driving the investment returns, they've been done by some of the major corporations who themselves were often venture back to corporate venture back. Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, some of the others, they've been growing and doing very large deals. And I think this is one of the interesting perspectives from a, when you look globally, is to understand that corporate venturing within the US has this amazing opportunity to attract people to Silicon Valley in particular to understand the secret source, the deals, the amazing entrepreneurial talent which is here. But actually, they're also creating amazing opportunities around the world. And whereas, if you look at some of the other countries, much, for example, in India, much of the investment comes from overseas people coming into India. If you look at China, the deals done in China, the majority of them now are being driven by corporates and being driven by local corporations. And I think what you'll start to find is this an interesting paradigm globally behind where countries like Russia, which is trying to create their own technology and how they understand their role in, in, in a global environment where there are potentially economic sanctions in play, versus countries like India, which is starting to say, how do we create our domestic 
venture scene? How do we encourage local corporations to do this? Countries like Japan, which have probably the second highest number of corporate venturing units in the world, but they're often focused internally, although in the past few years they've increasingly started to understand how they can play on the global playing field. And what we'll find as we look globally is that different countries, different sectors will start to take different plays on this inward, outward looking, and they will all look to this Silicon Valley, in particular in the US, as a role model. And understanding, and what we've tried to do with this event this year is to say, how does the rest of the world come to the US to understand and take some of that magic outside? But equally, for the London Symposium, how do we take the US magic and bring that globally as well? And so we'll hear much more from Jeff, Tim, and Toby at 3.05. I now wanted to bring up the stage, Mark, if, uh, if you can come up, please. <laughs>